guys. Um, kind of doing an in-car rambling. I finally have a holder for my phone, which is good because I have to travel quite a ways today and rely on maps because I'm going to see Air Supply tonight. Yeah, I am an Air Supply fan. I hold no apologies for this. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me more of a geek or if I've lost geek cred on that. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is not so much a weight loss update as a health status update. Um, it, uh, you know, as I said before, uh, it's really hard to lose weight when you have no thyroid functioning. So... What I ran into is I finally was able to catch up on my health insurance bill. Um, I have Medica, and it's through the uh, exchange, uh, not through my employer. So what had happened is when you get insurance through the exchanges, they expect you to pay double for it before you get your first month of health insurance. So you're paying two payments, not just one. So I was behind on this bill, which meant that I couldn't get anything at all. Um, I was able to use it once for medications, and then after that they put a hold on it so that I couldn't, uh, couldn't get any doctor's appointment, anything. And um, this went on for about four months, so I've been without blood pressure, been without thyroid medication, um, stuff like that, um, which really fucks up the body bad. Um, my thyroid has since then actually gotten bigger. Um, if it gets too big, it'll have to be removed. Um, and it does that in response to not being able to produce enough hormone and um, so you know the tissue expands as it's trying to make more create more cells and and stuff to actually get some functionality and of course mine doesn't have that so um, I, Saturday, I'm going to be picking up my medications. I'll be getting my blood pressure med back, which with the changes I have made to my diet, um, including having the dandelion tea or the hibiscus tea with the apple cider vinegar, not drinking any soda at all anymore. Um, I've been cooking with unsalted, uh, vegetable or chicken broths. Um, and of course, working out five days a week and uh, my working outs either between walking or biking um, which my doctor approved of because right now he said is n considering my weight is not a good time to be doing uh, high impact stuff even belly dancing because I do Turkish style and I do Tunisian style belly dancing uh, can end up uh, being too high impact on my ankles which tend to sprain easily so um, the biking and stuff seems to be good, which I want to do some bike tours next year. So I don't see a problem with this. And this guy's going to let me in? Yes. Anyway, um, so the other thing they're going to be putting me on, uh, a lot of people with thyroid tend to have blood sugar imbalances, and it's part of the metabolic syndrome. And I have been diagnosed with polycystic ovarian uh, disease as well. Um, he said that is definitely a factor. So they're putting me on metformin. And uh, what that does is it does help uh, boost the adrenal system, which is always taken out of place. All these different systems are stuck together. Um, you can't have one go out of balance and it not affect something else and so the metformin while I'm not diabetic I mean my my uh, a1c will be low enough but yet my fasting blood sugars will be just on the edge so I, I do have the pre-diabetic happening 
um, I did have gestational diabetes when I was pregnant with both of my kids, uh, which is a precursor for diabetes later on. Um, so uh, the metformin helps the insulin work that your body produces work better. It's not like uh, giving yourself insulin shots, which would replace you know, or you know, give you more insulin to react to how your blood sugars are at the time. What this does is just allows the body to react better to the insulin that it produces, plus helps support the adrenal system, and that in turn will also help keep the thyroid in balance. So um, I will be doing that. Um, I'm a little leery about getting back on Losartan. Uh, of course, I had bad reactions to Norvask, so I can't take that anymore. And there's only so many blood pressure meds I can take because of reactive airway disease. Um, there are some blood pressure meds that will shut the airways down and are a lot of problems for asthmatics. So um, I'm kind of stuck there. Uh, I still have very severe edema in my legs, which uh, the uh, Norvask helped create, and I think it ruined my circulation. Um, while it was supposed to help promote the circulation and allow the blood vessels to open up, which lowers the blood pressure, um, it was causing even pretty much plus five and six edema, which is not a measurement we normally use in medical. Uh, currently, my legs still, when they swell up, will be at a point four. My doctor, sh you know, pushed his finger in, and I was screaming in pain, and that finger indent stayed for about 20 minutes. Now, once my feet are up, you can see the bones, you can see the blood vessels, you can see the tendons in my feet. I have skinny feet and ankles until the swelling happens. So, um, I also wanted to put it out there for any of you who see somebody that, you know, is extremely heavy and is in like Walmart or something like that and they're using a cart. Well, yeah, they should be walking. There also is a point where if their legs are that swollen, and I know pe you people have seen ones that have had their legs that swollen, it may not be fat at their ankles that could be water and what happens is that water gets in between the cells it does not uh, go into the bloodstream to be flushed out by the kidneys it actually stays in between the tissues and um, will just stay there and there's no real way to get rid of it even with dialysis um, the dialysis can only remove so much from the bloodstream, but it can't pull from the tissues. So if the stuff does not shift from the tissue into the bloodstream, it can't leave the body. This is extremely painful shit. Now that I know what it feels like, oh my god. I mean, even socks can make it feel like somebody's cutting your leg off with a dull, rusty saw. I mean, it is just horrible, horrible pain. So keep that in mind when you see somebody that is that heavy and their ankles look like they're, you know, 20 inches around. Um, that's not necessarily fat. And at that point, that person is in a lot of pain. Um, I still get up and walk and move around with that going on in my legs, but it isn't comfortable in the slightest. But I'm glad I was able to see results where my blood pressure was almost normal, even without medications for four months. Um, so the dietary changes have helped a lot. Um, I'm not doing vegan, I still eat meat. Um, sometimes if my finances are really bad, I have to get what is affordable. Um, but right now my garden is helping a lot. Um, 
I'm not ha I haven't had much success with anything other this year, anything other than uh, the kale and um, collard greens and lamb's quarters been growing like crazy. Unfortunately, our tomatoes are growing well. But uh, we tried mangle wurzels and we're going to have to try starters again um, because they didn't do very well. Uh, radishes are doing okay. Uh, didn't get the beets to grow this year uh, for some reason. I don't know if we need to prep the soil again or what's going on, but for some reason um, the quinoa didn't. It barely started and then it died. Uh, the amaranth is not doing very well. And of course we've got 90 plus degree heat, you know, all week this week and we've had it last week and stuff so that's not helping but I've been out watering every day and stuff. My herbs are doing great, basil's doing great, chives are doing fantastic, parsley's doing fantastic. I have two types of basil growing. I eat that almost every single day. Um, and still the dandelions I will mix in. I don't eat those every day because this is the time of year that they're pretty bitter. Um, so they need a lot of prep to get that bitter taste out. And then the other thing I've tried is um, wild plantain. And we're not talking the banana looking thing. Um, this is a green. Um, it's pretty common uh, even in um, on Vancouver Island, if you ever watch the uh, show Alone, uh, there's some people that have had it there. Uh, it grows wild in Minnesota. Most of the time you find it along roads and stuff, but my backyard barely has any grass. It's got plenty of plantain and dandelions and creeping Charlie, but um, yeah, so I tried that. It's kind of bland. Um, I don't know. And I don't know if I'm going to try it again because I could not stay off the toilet for three days after that one. And so, yeah, um, but it, it, it was a plant, you know, it just, it, it, nothing remarkable about the taste of that one. So, um, I've also found that uh, Minnesota does have some edible succulents as well, and um, I'm going to look those up again and see about giving those a try because I think I've got them growing in my garden as well. Uh, one section of the garden did not grow and became nothing but weeds, but um, these weeds are actually edible weeds. So eh, kind of a plus, you know. I don't have to spend as much watering when it's something that is natural to my area. Um, so yeah, uh, once I get back on my medications, uh, I'm going to see how things go with the weight loss. Um, since I've had this kind of progress without meds, um, this does give me some hope that I'm doing the right thing for my body. Um, for anybody who's looking at starting to lose weight and get it off, make sure to coordinate with your doctor. If you haven't had any lab tests, do get lab tests done. Find out what your blood work is. Um, see what's going on with your body because these are, are going to be hurdles, especially if you are morbidly obese like I am. Um, yeah, there's going to be some massive hurdles because parts of your body do shut down with massive weight gain. And those are things that you need to address and get on the appropriate medications and then take it from there. Otherwise, you know, the exercise and the dieting and stuff like that, or changing your diet, I should say, um, are going to be the biggest uphill battle. I've kept three pounds off. That's it. And I've been at this for quite a while now. Um, you have to get your body in as much balance as possible and it's okay if you need to have medication help to do so. So that's what I wanted to say. I uh, got an ambulance down my street. Okay, so I'm going to let you go. Blessed be everybody. I'm going to go have some fun tonight. Bye!